to first alert four at four. We'll start at 430 with that newly released data on just how many guns are being stolen in our area. Stats from every town for gun safety puts the St. Louis region as having one of the highest rates of gun thefts from vehicles. The group used FBI data and it says St. Louis Metro is third highest in America for that issue. So this issue is not city centric. Of course, it's largely suburban and rural. First Alert 4's Kimberly Donahue is live tonight in Hillsborough. David, law enforcement in Jefferson County tell me they're not immune from gun thefts in cars with two incidents happening this week. They're warning gun owners about their responsibility so their firearms aren't used in a crime. Each of these crimes over the years have one thing in common, crooks looking for guns, a theme leaving people across the metro concerned. You never know who would get into your car. My opinion is you wouldn't leave a car unlocked with a gun in it. But it does happen. Jefferson County Sheriff Dave Marshak says just this week, there's been two incidents of firearms taken from unlocked cars. For us, it's a concern because those firearms end up being used in other crimes, not only in Jefferson County, but throughout the entire St. Louis region. FBI crime data from 2022 puts St. Louis with the third highest rate of gun thefts from cars per capita behind Atlanta and Memphis and around the region in 2022 St. Louis had 859 gun thefts from cars. St. Charles had roughly 25 thefts and O'Fallon, Missouri had 11. Sheriff Marshak says the easiest way to avoid this is simply lock up when behind criminals are successful and they get valuables such as firearms or purses or wallets from unlocked vehicles, they're going to continue the pattern and we're going to continue to see crimes as long as we allow this. So we need to make it more difficult for criminals to access these types of things. If, you know, it, you're leaving it there for someone to easily take. So, I mean, it, it, I would like my car. I like my car anyway. People in Jefferson County have a little false feeling that they're safe in their car and they won't lock their car and it's um it's any I like my car all the time because I don't think that you should presume assume that it's going to be safe the two car th gun thefts are under investigation anyone with information is encouraged to contact the jefferson county sheriff's department in jefferson county kimberly donahue first alert for a good reminder if you own a firearm you're responsible for that 24 7 kimberly thank you